In this video, we're gonna show you how to get the black spindle, which is the evolved version of the black hammer that we thought was lost forever, but now has made its way to the Taken King as a 310 exotic sniper. First and foremost, you're gonna have to get a fire team together because this mission is gonna be difficult. Ideally three, if not, at least get one other person to help revive. What you're going to need to do is a daily heroic, Lost to the Light. So you have the rest of today, hopefully to see this video and to finish this quest, or you have to hope that it cycles back into rotation because it doesn't work in just normal story mode. It has to be the daily heroic. Upon arriving into the heroic strike, just go ahead and run by everything until you get to this ogre. You're gonna have to fight this ogre and damage him enough to the point where he gets taken. After he gets taken, stand near this rock and get the shard that Eris Morn wants. Once the shadowy door opens, continue through the strike and keep running. There's no need to kill anything here, just make sure you don't wipe on the way there. Finally, you're gonna reach this circular room in the chamber of the night, where on the right side, there's gonna be a relic. Coordinate with your fire team members who's gonna pick it up, bring it to the door, and open it. While that's happening, the other fire team members can attack the knight that's in the way and kill some of the adds so that the relic bearer can get to the door easier. You don't have to kill these adds though. Now run through the door and continue on the path of the strike. You're gonna make a right here and you're gonna have to deal with two relics this time. So if you have a third fire team member, of course, have him kill the adds and distract this wizard while the other two of you go by these knights and grab the relic to bring to the door. Be careful here because if you all wipe, you won't have access to this secret area for the Easter egg. Have your relic holders put it into the door, wait for the door to unlock and just keep running. Continue to run because you won't need to do the third set of relics. What's gonna happen is you're gonna end up in this circular room here where you want to continue to where you would normally fight Tanix on that strike. Continue on until you get to the lift platform. If you want to go ahead and switch up your specs, switch up your guns or your equipment, etc., go ahead and do that now as it's a safe time to do that. Make your way up the lift and you're going to continue through the corridors and the doorways until you reach the server room. Once you access the server rooms here at the doors, you're going to trigger the event. The event's going to be timed and you have 10 minutes to get through it. Your fire team cannot wipe because otherwise you'll fail the mission and you'll have to start all over again. One thing to note during the catch portion of the mission is that there are no instant revives. There is a cooldown of 10 seconds or you can respawn yourself in about 20 seconds. Choose wisely on when to revive or to tell your teammate to respawn themselves. Because this event is timed and you only have 10 minutes, you're going to have to finish the rest of this strike in those 10 minutes and kill everything in your path. In the first room, the kind of server looking room, you're gonna have to deal with three knights, a centurion, blight balls, and adds. My fire team prioritized the blight balls first, and then we took care of the knights and the centurions and the adds. Watch out, of course, they have shields and they do a lot of damage, so coordinate your supers if you need to, grenades, heavy weapons, etc. Next, you're gonna go through this slight corridor, and there's gonna be enemies on your left and your right, including two captains and some vandals. Be on the lookout because they're gonna throw those blind balls. So don't just stand in the middle of the corridor. Here you're going to reach the walker room where you're going to have to deal with light balls yet again, three wizards, four vandal snipers, and then additional adds, acolytes, etc. My fire team prioritized the blight balls first, then we made our way and killed each wizard next, and then we took out the vandal snipers. Be careful with the vandal snipers because they'll probably two shot you. Coordinate who's going to jump up and who's going to stay below to take them out. Ideally, you want them to use their special taking ability where they pop the bubble over themselves and they don't have the ability to shoot out of it. Go in with your shotgun or your fusion, finish them off, and drop down. Ideally, you have around seven minutes left here because you're gonna have to go through the corridors that you would normally chase Tanix through in the strike. You're gonna have to firstly deal with these two phalanxes, and then after you deal with them, there's gonna be a dual bladed captain which you wanna shotgun or fusion rifle down right away. And then as you proceed through the corridor, there's gonna be two more devoured knights at the bottom of the stairs that you have to be careful of because they're gonna start spraying their fire all over the place. Here in the final room where Tanix would normally be, you're gonna see the boss on the middle platform where Tanix normally spawns. Not only are you gonna to have to deal with him, you're gonna to have to deal with blight balls and a bunch of different adds that are gonna spawn. The most annoying is probably the Scions, which are gonna keep duplicating themselves, so make sure to kill them. I used the Zalo Supercell in this case because it did a really good job against the Scions and it kind of cleared the adds, but of course you can coordinate with your fire team to take out the Scions with supers, heavies, etc. But you're also going to have to deal with Devoured Knights, Centurions, etc, etc. Ideally, you clear out the adds fast enough so that you have limited times where you can just DPS the boss. The biggest thing to remember here is that even if you kill the boss, you have to kill all the adds in the room in order to complete the mission. Therefore, the best strategy is probably to take out the Blight Balls and clear the adds so that you can fully focus DPS on the boss. If not, you definitely want to try to just clear adds and shoot the boss at the same time. 
You can use the docking area that you come in at as a nice safe spot to kind of peek in and out to shoot within cover. You have to be careful with this boss though because he has the ability to throw the captain's blind ball at you. Except he can do it three times. I would say try your best to clear all the ads out, do strong DPS on the boss, rinse and repeat. And once you do that, you're going to end up with your shiny new black spindle, which is going to bring about all those nostalgic feels of Crota all over again, or hopefully. And uh, Gorgoloth, you're going to feel the wrath of the black spindle. Good luck to all you guardians, because today is the day you're going to have to try to get this, because who knows when this quest will show up in the daily heroic rotation again. So try to get your fire team together, try Destiny LFG, and of course stay tuned to GameSpot.com for continuing coverage of Destiny.